When we look back at 2017, it's probably fair to say that it was a better year than people had expected. The global economy was growing faster than people had originally thought, earnings were better, and that was reflected in the performance of risky assets, notably equities. One point to note was that the S&P 500, uh, the US equity market, showed a positive performance every month of the year for the first time. On the positive side, obviously, it reflects the strong economic performance, the strong earnings performance, some positive expectations around US tax reform. But on a more cautionary note, it's important to remember that the sort of metronomic performance that we saw from a lot of asset markets in 2017 is not normal and not something that we should necessarily extrapolate into the future. Not to say that markets can't do well, but it's worth remembering that possibly not with the consistency that we've seen in 2017. We've had a pretty good start to the year in 2018, and it's really been driven by some of the same factors that drove performance in 2017, notably relatively good economic data, coupled with fairly low inflation. And that combination should be positive for risky assets like equities. Going forward, there are a couple of things to focus on. The first is whether that combination will translate into good corporate earnings, corporate profitability, corporate cash flow. The second is whether we'll see a continuation of that, particularly around inflation. Remember that in 2017, inflation was a little bit lower than maybe people had expected, and that allowed central banks to take a very gradual view towards raising interest rates and normalizing monetary policy after what has been a, you know, a very long period of low interest rates. Uh, if we began to see signs of higher inflation than maybe we, we had expected at the start of this year, this could have implications for monetary policy and also for financial markets. When we think about policy and politics for this year, it's worth looking back at 2017. And the message there is one of resilience. There are a lot of concerns during the course of 2017 around US policy, around Korea, European elections, and so on and so forth. And yet markets, broadly speaking, took that in stride. The underlying fundamentals of relatively good growth, relatively strong corporate profitability, really triumphed over some of the broader political concerns that there were. So when we think about 2018, a lot of those concerns are still with us. But the underlying message we think should broadly be the same, which is that if we continue to see good profitability, decent global growth and relatively subdued inflation, we think that markets can perform quite well.